Bible has a story in 2 Samuel chapter 13 of Amnon. Amnon had a friend that caused him to do, very famous, famous passage, caused him to do something extremely wicked. Where Amnon probably wouldn't have done something as wicked as he ended up doing, but it's his friend that influenced him. The Bible says in 2 Samuel 13, 1, And it came to pass after this that Absalom, the son of David, had a fair sister whose name was Tamar, and Amnon, the son of David, loved her. And Amnon was so vexed that he fell sick for his sister Tamar, for she was a virgin. And Amnon thought it hard for him to do anything to her. So Amnon has this, this emotion. He feels love for his sister, which he shouldn't have. And he knows he shouldn't have it. And that's why I say he thought it hard for him to do anything to her. He's not going to actually act on it. He knows it's wrong. He, he's been taught that it's wrong, but he has this feeling but he's like, you know what? I don't think I could do anything about this because it's not right. But then steps in Amnon's friend, verse number three. But Amnon had a friend whose name was Jonadab, the son of Shimea, David's brother. And Jonadab was a very subtle man. He's sneaky. He's subtle. He's able to influence Amnon to do a really wicked thing and to take his sister and to act out what he knew was wrong which he probably wouldn't have done at all if it wasn't for his friend's influence. Now, the fact that he's subtle is very telling because he didn't outwardly just seem like a wicked person. He probably had some stuff in common with Amnon. He became buddy-buddy with him. But because he's subtle, he's able to, to kind of sneak in and just influence him at the right time to cause him to do something that he normally wouldn't do. So watch out for your friends. People... people Look, you take after people, whether you realize it or not. There's so many, so many ways that this is true. And, and like I said, it may not always be for something bad. Uh, a, a kind of a funny story in my life, and I, pro I might have told this before already here, I'm not sure. When I was much younger, I worked in a hospital, and I worked in the, in the cooking, in the, in the uh, cafeteria, on the food line, and... Where the hospital was, it was in Chicago, and I worked with, with a lot of, of black people, okay, and the common language there was way different than what I speak, what I'm used to, and, you know, the, the, everyone who's familiar with Ebonics, okay, that, that, like, I'm not trying to be offensive here, but the, 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 the culture, the way that, that people were talking there, was way different, and, and just, just the language and, and the way that people spoke, you know, I started speaking like the people around me. I know, it's, it's kind of funny, because if you were to look at me, and then you hear the way I started talking, you'd be like, whoa, this white boy is saying things that, that doesn't sound like the way it should look, but... Um, that's just a result of being around people for extended periods of time. You know, you pick up phrases, you pick up things, you know, things that people will say. I didn't, until I moved out to Arizona, I never said, right on. <laughs> never one time. Not coming from Chicago, it's not something that's used. But the more you spend time out in, in other areas and around certain people, you pick up different things. Look, those might be some silly examples, okay? But it's a fact of, of who we are as people, just socially, when you're around other people, you are going to pick up things about them. And we need to be on guard about that in general in life, especially as you're out in the world. You know, we have to be out in the world. You have to work. I have to watch for this now at my secular job. I mean, the vast majority of people in my work, they're not, they're not you know, fundamental Baptist Christians. I don't know if anyone else is, but... The things that they talk about, the things that they joke about, you know, those aren't things that I want to let myself get wrapped into. So should I go off and just start making best buddies with these unsaved people that just, just live, eat, breathe, and sleep the world? No. If I do, guess what's going to happen? I'm going to start getting into the same stuff that they're into. It's going to happen. The friends that you choose to have are going to cause you to some degree to go the direction that they're going. 
It's going to happen. So be careful with who you choose to allow into your life. 